Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through and show you how to use the virtual box that's actually built into the most current NAS for free, which is this version as of today, which is February the 25th, 2016. So 10.2.0.2, the Presta version. Let's get started. Go under Advanced, Virtual Box. Um, you'll need to enable it. You can see here I've already enabled it. And then pick a location of where your virtual box disks will be located. So in this scenario, like I've got it under my data one, which is one out of the two pools I've got on here. Okay, so go OK, select that. I uh, don't need that for now. And then click Save and Restart. Okay, so it's been applied. Click on the web GUI, it'll open up another tab. And the default username for this is admin admin. So add admin, log in and it'll bring up the VirtualBox screen. So you can see here I've got a few disks in there running already. Um, we'll go through and we'll create a new one for Windows, for instance. So we'll go New. Pick what you want. I'm going to install 10, give it a name, Win10 x64. Obviously, it's important to have uh, the disk ISO. So, four gigs of RAM. Go create a virtual hard drive now. VDI and dynamically. So, and it recommends minimum 32 gig. I'm just going to leave it as default. It goes and it creates, and then you can see it pops up over here. Okay, but before we can start installing, you need to do a couple of things. Uh, go into system, uh, you'll need to, I'm just going to disable that, you need to check in your BIOS to see if you have the virtual acceleration, this is normally controlling your BIOS, so if you have that, tick that, it helps. Display, I'm going to leave all that as default, this is important, go into remote display, you can change the port to whatever you want, if you want to use the built-in viewer, you need to give it a password, so I'm just going to password for now. Um, you can also use type VNC or real VNC, any VNC to log in. Because remember, this is a headless uh, install. So in here, before we start, it's important to pick out an ISO. So I've already copied. What you need to do is um, copy an ISO onto the NAS. Um, using Samba. I'm not going to go through any of that here because you can check that out in my other videos. Um, you can see here VirtualBox. It's under the mount data. That's one the pool one. So you've got all that. So I'm going to pick the ISO that I've got there. That's the one I want. Um, you can enable all of this. Obviously I like to use a bridge and desktop, that's fine. Lee, I'm going to leave everything else at the moment. Default. Go OK. So that's it. Really, we're ready to start. Remember this port number and the password. What I'm going to do, go back to here, and then you can go the um, no VNC web GUI. So click on that. It's going to ask the host which is the IP of this, the port. So remember the port was 9000 to 9100. So I'm just putting 9000 and put in the password. Sorry. Right. Then over here, highlight that and then go start. You can see down here, it's starting the virtual machine and then in the preview, it'll start loading the um, ISO. Then go over here and then go connect. There we go, that's running off that ISO, so I'm going to do the 64-bit install. Basically, loading Windows. And because it's a virtual machine, you can install any operating system you like. So while that's running, for instance, I've got Nopix, uh, Lubuntu, I've even got another virtual box running there. Uh, obviously, a 32-bit Windows 10 to test. 
and at the moment this is running uh, one quirk you will find when it starts when the mouse comes up is the mouse and the actual pointer on the screen offset it's a little bit annoying but work your way through it to get to the final install and then we can fix that by installing the um, virtual guest addition to it we'll go through all of that okay so as you can see <laughs> the pointer and the mouse is actually really offset and it gets worse but if you play around with it you can move it all the way off and then you can get close and then you can change your settings this way it's a little bit annoying but you only have to deal with it until uh, Windows is actually installed and then we can fix that so just gonna go next and then just go install while this is all running you can see it's doing the normal Windows install you can actually go over here and see the the resources that it's going to be using so you can see the and then go next okay so just wait uh, for it to install I'll come back shortly okay so it's finished that bit and it's just going to continue through the uh, installation process Uh, as you can see, the cursor is obviously still off. So what we have to do now is install the um, guest of virtual additions. To do that, make sure it's running and then highlight the install. Go to settings and go install guest additions. And it'll find, it won't find one. And then, so just go yes, download it. Once it's downloaded, no, it's downloading. Once it's downloaded, copy it onto the NAS uh, via Sambler, just the same way you copied the uh, original ISO onto it. And then we'll go through and we'll, we'll mount it and then we'll install it in here and then that will fix this offset mouse uh, issue. Okay, so I'm just going to go and copy it across. Okay, what we do now is we just shut down Windows. I've copied it in, so what we're going to do now is what I find is if you move the mouse really quick, it jumps ahead. Power and shut down. So while that's shutting down, we'll jump over here sorry into here we've got to wait until it shuts down before we can edit this okay now that's off what we want to do is go into your storage and um, click choose a virtual disk file go back in here and the virtual guest editions that you copied there that you just downloaded and then go OK Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start it up again. Go over here, reconnect to it so we can see it boot up. Okay, so now it's booted up. It's it's still off key. What I find is if you there we go. Click Explorer. So in here. Go to this PC and you'll see the um, CD-ROM mounted there. Double click that. Just give it a sec and then run the version that you've got. So in this case it's the 64-bit. Go yes. It's a little bit painful until we get this edition, uh, the Windows editions installed. So just go through and wait for it to install. Okay, so we want to reboot. And uh, once it boots up, the mouse should be working fine.
Okay, so it's rebooted. Just giving it a f second to finish loading up. As you can see, the um, the mouse. There's only one mouse. The pointer. It's just the mouse driver is installed. Cool. So um, that's pretty much it. You can see that uh, it's running Windows on the, your NAS for free box. Yeah, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.